Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today we are gonna create an old Medium logo inside Gravity Designer. First and first, let's talk about Medium. Medium is an online publishing platform was developed in 2012. The initial logo was a slab serif typeface. It was a very classy but was replaced in 2015 when I believe company decided to shift the direction towards a social media. A uh, new logo, this greenish is a metric letter M logo, is a much more app icon or social media icon. Uh, it doesn't tell me anything about the platform. Um, probably they tell that uh, they are fun, they are approachable, writing is fun and everybody can join Medium and write an article, but it wasn't very successful. And they decided to change it right now in 2017. So in new logo share some similarities with the initial uh, design. Uh, so many designers talk about undo and as they probably write, it's a high contrast uh, serif font, uh, serif typeface uh, that uh, has a very large uh, bracketed uh, big serifs. They decided to remove a couple of uh, serifs from the original uh, typeface. Uh, and uh, this logo is much more aligned with the traditional publishing business. You can compare it with the, the Times wordmark and the Vanity Fair logo type. So, guys, let's start our tutorial in Gravit Designer. You can follow along this tutorial because Gravit is a free app available for you on Windows, Linux, MacOS, uh, Chromebook and in your browser. So you can probably launch it from any device you can imagine. And uh, it's vector based and it has a built-in isometric grid that with a snapping option. So you can create a isometric logos with easy. So let's dig inside Gravity Designer and create a medium logo. So guys, I'm now in Gravity Designer and first of all I'm gonna launch a new document. So go to the file, U, and I want to grab this default block cover. Uh, option Ctrl plus Command plus to scale my document. I'm gonna scale it right here. Now I want to navigate to my right panel. As you can see, if this artboard is selected, I have this options, grid, options on and isometric. Let's let me show you a simple read, how it looks and isometric looks looks like that and you can change it on, fly, on the fly. So I'm gonna set a size to 5. I'm gonna set the angle number 1 to 60 and I'm gonna set a num uh, an angle number 2 to negative 27. Very nice. Uh, now I want to grab my references. My tabs is here on top right. I'm gonna Ctrl C and go here and Ctrl V, just Ctrl G or Command G to uh, make group. And now I'm gonna select my design and move, push it like here in the top left corner. Uh, and next. We need to snap to the grid, so go to the view, snap to, snap to grid. You need to check this option. Grab the pen tool, click P, scale your artwork a bit and start drawing. I'm gonna start drawing my letter M with the top, uh, bottom left corner, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna move on the top on 7 cells 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and put ang here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 on 7 uh, cells on bottom 
right and put anchor here now move to the bottom put anchor here and here and we created our first rectangle now grab uh, deselect this rectangle uh, and select an empty portion of your artboard then return to your pen tool or pass tool make a point on the top right corner of your rectangle move your uh, pen to the on four circles to the bottom make a point here then go to the bottom right on seven on seven cells one two three four five six six seven make a point here and then combine your pass very nice deselect your uh, path and return to your pen tool now i'm gonna move on this direction on seven points one two three four five six seven move on this direction to the top left on seven points as well one two three four five six seven and go here and put this point here and combine the path now we have our diagonal stroke deselect select again move on seven points on seven cells to the bottom put an anchor here on this ink trap of our letter M and go here return and close the path as you can see one of our sorry one of our shape is sitting on the top it should be behind and i have a shortcut for this control down arrow key and we arrange it to back you can also push it to back with control shift p or command shift p on your mark so now that we have our letter m i'm gonna select all of these four shapes navigate to right panel go to the these borders and click on the right edge of your border as you can see now this little line red line disappears so we select our borders of all of four lines and we need to click on this trash icon to delete our border now click on this circle on under the field and we have a bunch of options here first we can set a flat color we can set a liner gradient we can set a radial gradient we can set an angular gradient and we can set a bunch of textures i'm gonna uh, work with the liner gradient so i'm gonna select a liner gradient as you can see now i have a, some kind of direction uh, handles here and first of all i want to select this shape click on this fields circle again and change direction of my gradient as you can see my selected stop color is filled or hollow i'm sorry and this is filled with white so i'm gonna click on this selected icon go to my airdropper tool holding shift key i'm gonna sample the color from my design you can uh, choose a reference from a raster image, it doesn't matter. Now select this, go to this add over tool, hold shift key and select reference from top. As you can see we have this nice uh, gradient, but then I'm gonna select this triangle, grab and I drop a tool and select this is a flat color I want to scale down my artwork and this uh, rectangle I'm gonna select and fill it with also with a flat color and select this uh, diagonal stroke 
Yes, this triangle. Open my gradient panel. Align the gradient like so. Select the top point. Grab my airdropper tool. Holding Shift key. Wrap the color from top. Then select the color for my bottom. And we have this very nice letter M. I'm gonna grab my sub select uh, tool, scale a bit my artboard, and select these dots on the bottom. Hold Shift key. As you can see, they are filled with uh, blue. Other color deselected and white. I'm gonna select this three, then select this, and on the opposite corner, select this. And now navigate to your appearance panel right from view. And notice that we have this corner. It's a corner radius. I'm gonna set it to 4. Like so, as you can see, our graphic designer automatically change all the corners here. So this is basically the end of our tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give a thumb up. Share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day!